On today's show, we're going to talk about the hitter's assessment process that I use here at Athletic Mission Baseball Academy in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hey guys, welcome back to Strategic Baseball Podcast. In the last episode, Daryl broke down his pitcher's assessment process, and today I'm going to break down my hitter's assessment process that we use here at Athletic Mission Baseball Academy. Jeff and Daryl here, and we help baseball players get to the next level with a strategic advantage so that they can play with supreme confidence against the best players at any level. In every episode, we promise to deliver value on the strategic side of player development, to help your players compete with players just as good, if not better than them. Today, we're going to talk about the assessment process that we take our hitters through here at Athletic Mission in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Daryl and I operate out of. Remember, Daryl is a pitching strategist. I am a hitting strategist, and this is Strategic Baseball Podcast. If you are interested in joining our circle, head over to Strategic dash baseball.com which you can also find in our show notes and submit your email to always get a reminder each each time we release a new episode weekly tip from daryl and i and a pdf transcription and visual of the previous episode and much more if you are a player parent or coach who is interested in learning more about how our strategic advantage baseball process worked for your unique situation, please email me at jeff at athletic-mission.com or daryl at dc at startpitching.com, which you can also find in the show notes. And we would love to arrange time to uh, speak with you and see how we can help. So, Daryl, man, I guess I'm going to go ahead and and keep talking. Um, This is our hitter assessment process. So when we when we look across the Internet and, and across social media, you see a lot of coaches advertising their hitters assessment process, which normally consists things of like a video analysis or a biomechanic reading or a device for everything, which at the end of the process reflects a green light or a red light, which ultimately highlight what a kid needs to work on. So again, the measurables. And to be honest, this is the easiest part of it. And it's important. You know, nobody downplaying the importance of this, but it's important, especially when kids are trying to make teams and trying to get to college and, and all that stuff. So this skill set is important. But when but with us at Athletic Mission, man, we are focused on the individual player development and the individual hitter development. You know, it's really about where these kids are at. And we call it the current state assessment. And it's all about what they want as an, as an individual. And, and it's much more important yep. than any of the measurable. And, and so the kids that come to Athletic Mission – are seeking out Daryl and myself, they're, they're looking for a strategic advantage. So so we start our assessment process with what we call the hitter-related activity. And, and what we do is so we go through, you know, all the things that they do all year long. You know, what do they do during preseason? What do they do during in season? What do they do during off season? Uh, what coaches are they working with? Um, what strength and conditioning coach are they working with? Uh, we just want to get an idea of all the things that they are doing so that yep. we can work around it. Because what we don't want to do is create confusion for the hitter. And we don't want to create tension between what all the other coaches are saying as well. So it's really important for us to really just kind of understand all all the things that they are doing, the hitter relayer activity, and and so in these assessments, we get we get we kind of get a, a blend of the kind of hitters that come in, and so firstly we have those those super aggressive hitters, 
you know, these are the ones that you know they're out there and they're out there to swing. They're going to swing and they're going to swing hard. And they tend to, you know, already have, you know, in their mind, they've already made the, the, the decision to swing the bat before seeing if it's really the pitch that they're looking for, the pitch that they want. And if the pitcher grooves it in there, then they're typically having some good days. But, man, if it's that pitcher that can move that ball around and keep them off balance, then it's a long day because they end up expanding their strike zone and they don't consistently square up the baseball. And this is going to cause them, a lot of them, to really start to kind of fall behind the count. And and now they're swinging and missing or they're trying to do too much and they just missed it by fouling it off, which now leads to strikeouts. You know, these are the type of guys that tend to be more com- comfortable hitting in practice than in games. You know, because we talk about the transition from practice to pressure is the key to success. And this is the strategic advantage that we've been talking about. So these are t- some of the guys that we see. You know, the strategic advantage mindset is the bridge from the the physical skills set into how we show up on game day. And, and this is the stuff that we do that in between that really help us, you know, master our skills and master the stick process and the command pro the command hitting process, and eventually allow the hitter to kind of create a strategy. And so the next the next hitter we tend to get is going to be that that really passive hitter, you know, the one who's hesitant to swing the bat. They decide that when they do swing the bat, when they do decide to swing the bat, they're like half bought in. You know, the effort to swing, it, so they're kind of stuck in between not swinging and swinging, so they don't swing the bat very well or very hard. You know, these are the guys that don't trust what they're doing. They don't trust their ability to execute in a real game. and Or they could be, you know, maybe they're afraid of baseball because nobody's taking the time to teach them how to see the ball. You know, and then not seeing the ball leads them to timing issues, which leads them to swing issues which, uh, you know, leads them to a, a, a wide variety of, of situations. And and that leads them to athletic mission, you know. So then this leads them to where ultimately we want to take guys. We want to help them evolve into a dominating strategic hitter. And this is where, you know, the, the, the dominating strategic hitter this guy can pick up spin. This guy sees the ball really, really early, and he sees it for a long time, which allows him to consistently drive the baseball with authority as well as having great plate discipline. They're good at taking good pitches because they understand how the pitcher pitch moves and has an approach for each count in each situation. This is why at Athletic Mission, we do what I call command hitting. We're constantly putting our guys into a situation where they have to think about the game and, and what they're trying to do at the plate. We constantly have them going through their pre-pitch routine, see the ball, and, and all the things that give them a strategic advantage. Because again, we've talked about this before, the mindless practice does not give you a strategic advantage. So... Because, you know, we've got to be able to master the command hitting process so we can have strategy, so we can have game day results. So, again, the dominating strategic hitter, this is the guy that has great vision, great timing, got discipline, he's got the ability to drive the baseball with authority. So, yeah, you know, this is, you know, it's really quick. You know, this is where we start. With the hitters of Stetson process, we look at where they currently are, where they are at, and, and then we look at their hitter related activity. And, and then we, we have what we call that unique hitting assessment. And, and this is a list, you know, of like 20 different things. This is a list of all the things that we think hitter development is all about. And what they, and that we ask them to go through this and kind of 
kind of go through and, and and fill out what they think they've mastered. You know, and, and we're talking about things like like your approach, play discipline, you know, the in feed and off feed and the con- strength and conditioning program, your pre pitch and your pregame routine. You know, all of this is who the hitter becomes yep. and, and how we create a process from competitive advantage to mastery to strategy and ultimately how we show up on game day. So this is where, you know, this is where we tend to go back, man. When Whenever guys are struggling, it's always more about what they're not doing versus what they are doing. So, so yeah, this is what our process looks like, man. And it's really... It yep. it really allows us to identify where guys are at and, and where we need to start because not everybody needs to start over. Not everybody needs a blank slate because most of them don't. So we need to figure out where they're at. And, and you know, that's what's cool about this, man. This works for individual players. What do they feel like they have mastered? Yep. And what do they feel like they haven't mastered so that we can build it out and, and fill in the gap from there? Absolutely, man. And I think what's cool here too, Jeff, is that we got a lot of really good two-way players. So we have some awesome conversations here, man, because, again, you and I always are, are, are banging on each other trying to figure out how we can push each other and get these guys to see the game a little bit different. And, and we always ask them, man, if, if you're pitching, how would you pitch to you? How would you get you out? Right. And vice versa, is if you were hitting off of you, how would you, what would your approach be? And, and it's been pretty cool, man, because we've seen some aha moments happen in those situations based off the things that, that you've been teaching and kind of walking them through how to really create an approach and, and vice versa. How do we really, you know, how do we attack a hitter? Uh, based on what we do and based on what we know about them, man. And that, that kind of just changes the way they see the game and, and the little intricate pieces of baseball, man, that makes it so cool. Yeah, and the other thing that's cool that we do is, you know, we'll have our hitters watch your pitchers and see what we can pick up, and you guys will watch us and see what you pick up. So the, the we're actually taking what we want to do in a game and actually really practice it in a, in a practice setting yeah. and uh, really figure out yeah. how we can get a strategic advantage over them. No, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's good stuff, brother. Yeah, so that was our um, athletic mission hitters assessment process. Remember, guys, if you guys are – finding any value in any of these episodes please go and leave us an objective review and also head over to strategic baseball.com and join our circle we've got some pretty cool stuff that we're working on and uh we're going to be sharing it with you guys that we develop it so so thanks for listening and we'll catch you in the next episode